take two grow up under the hedges of guidance of democracy and development initiative has called on the national judicial council to act with this part. and finally on the judges of the court of appeal who abandoned the law the group disclosed this at a world press conference in abuja on monday picking the national convener of the group Komrihigwe ude umanta noted that the justice of the court of appeal led by justice efred da williams da Wudu, decided over the cases emanating from plateau state was already us we were on the brink of a monumental national crisis due to a willful assault on our democracy by a set of judges who abandoned the law judicial precedents and sound legal reasoning to pursue interests suspected to be pecuniary but all thanks to the supreme court who rescued the country and restored hope in our democracy by the sound judgment delivered on Friday, January 12, 2024. Across the country, many elected officials lost their freely given mandate in suspect judgments in which the election tribunal, petition tribunal, or court of appeals assumed jurisdictions over matters it has known. But they happened as pockets of cases, grave as they were to democracy, to the monumental disaster which swept off nearly all the mandates given to the People's Democratic Party in Plateau State. And this was in addition to the vexatious judgments in Kano and Zamfara States. The security and political tension peaked at this point. Everybody who is in Nigeria knew uh, what the situation was, what the kind of tension was uh, prior to the Supreme Court uh, settlement of these issues. What the justices of Court of Appeal, led by Justice Freda William Daoud, who presided over the cases emanating from Plateau State, did was horrendous. It remains one of the greatest assaults on democracy in Nigeria. It was indeed a brazen judicial haste, and coming from the judiciary, it is unacceptable. It must be repudiated, it has to be remedied. And this includes also those involved in the attempted judicial banditry in Kano and Zafar. The justices that are culpable should have no place in our judiciary. They thought that this set of justices may one day find their way to the Supreme Court is horrifying. It should not happen at all. If the justices that will give this kind of judgment in the Court of Appeal are now to be the ones who will now hold everybody's faith in the Supreme Court, it, 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 it can only be imagined. It shouldn't happen in this country because we will be at very high risk. For the records, these justices unjustly sacked two senators, five members of House of Representatives, and 16 State House of Assembly members in one state, Plateau State. There was no reason in the Nigerian laws to have done that. No reason, because the Supreme Court in handing over their own judgment said there have been a plethora of settled cases from which they should have. They have decided to forget what the Supreme Court has settled. We have every reason to believe that this just that justice was deliberately miscarried. Um, was that for instance, in Kano, there was almost a consensus between non-partisan lawyers and laymen that the strange deduction of over 165,000 votes from the NMPP and Abba Yusuf to pave way for a roundly defeated NPC and Yusuf Kaona is a judicial coup. Because it amounted to punishing the party, their candidate and the electorate for the error of INEC and its officials. It was also inexplicable to hold that only the, AMP, the NMPP and Governor Banisu benefited from ballots that were unstamped, unsigned and undated. The other ground for obtaining the victory was based on party nomination, which the Supreme Court has dealt with, saying in a plethora of cases, according to that Supreme Court. It was a strange judgment that insulted the sensibility of Nigerians and those judges of the Tribunal and Court of Appeal who attempted that coup in Kano must be punished. They must be sacked, investigated and maybe prosecuted. That should also be the case for the justices of Court of Appeal that attempted to thwart the will of the people in Zafra. In fact, in delivering his judgment, the Supreme Court described the judgment of the Court of Appeal as perverse and lacking in evidential foundation. That is, there was no evidence of irregularities in places the Court of Appeal ordered a error. It means that the Court of Appeal manufactured its own evidence 
This is how stinking these judgments are. On his part, the co-convener of the group, Comrade Danessi Momo Prince, all the affected lawmakers to be law abiding and for a seek justice. The law is the law. The law remains the law. The Supreme Court, that is the highest court of the land. The Supreme Court said what the appeal court gives judgment of is a, is a judgment miscarriage. It's not supposed to be so. Like we make a case study of Kano State where I net the dot 160 something thousand votes from a particular party. And the particular party are not the election organizer. INEC was not being punished. A party is being punished. Supreme Court said, no, you have you are wrong to have given such judgment. The idea of those sat coming to attend city, we will advise them as civil society. The law is the law. The law has sat there. The law elected them. The law sat them. What they need to do is to approach the same legal process to find a way around how best to find a way around how best they can achieve a robust outcome of this political miscarriage. Of this political miscarriage. That's why we are calling for the start of the president of AP Court. Are those judges who did injustice to, to justice? Nothing more. It will be recalled that the Supreme Court had raised some points concerning the decision of the Court of Appeal in the case of Plateau State, as Justice Emmanuel Ajim, who read the late judgment, was emphatic in stating that the election petition tribunal and the Court of Appeal lacks jurisdiction to entertain pre election matters. One would have imagined the crisis that would have been ravaging Plateau now if the case of Governor Caleb Muftuang were to be terminated at the Court of Appeal, like those of the National Assembly and the State House of Assembly in Abuja on Monday Timothy Pride TV News.